Imagine the most prized possession in your museum suddenly disappeared, what would you do? That's exactly what happened to the local museum's curator. Now, let me introduce you to Detective James. A seasoned veteran, he's seen his fair share of strange cases, but this one, this one, was something else. It was an ordinary day when the phone rang. On the other end was the curator of the local museum, voice trembling with panic. The museum's most cherished artifact, an ancient Egyptian mummy, had vanished. Just like that, right under their noses. Without wasting a moment, James sped to the museum, his mind racing with possibilities. As he arrived on the scene, he was met with the sight of the curator, Mr. Thompson, pacing back and forth in distress. Detective, I don't understand how this could have happened, he said, his voice filled with confusion and disbelief. James took in the scene, his eyes scanning the room meticulously. There was no sign of forced entry, not a single window was broken, not a single lock tampered with. The alarms, all fully functional, hadn't made a peep. It was as if the mummy had just decided to take a stroll out of the museum. Digging deeper, James examined the security footage. But it was as baffling as the rest. The cameras showed nothing, no shadowy figures, no suspicious movements, nothing that suggested a theft had taken place. As he pieced together the puzzle James couldn't help but think that whoever had done this knew their way around the museum. They knew where the cameras were, how the locks worked, and even how to bypass the alarms. This was no ordinary thief, this was someone with knowledge, someone with a plan. As the reality of the situation sank in, James knew that this was just the beginning. A mystery was unfolding before him, an enigma that promised to be unlike any he had ever encountered. And so, with a deep breath and a determined glint in his eyes, James began his investigation. The game was afoot. Seems like our thief knew his way around the museum, doesn't it? In any investigation you start with the people closest to the case. For James that meant the museum staff. The museum was a hive of activity, each employee performing their own intricate dance of duty. But amid the hustle and bustle one figure stood out. A security guard named John. His palms were sweaty, his eyes darting around nervously. It was as if he held a secret, a heavy burden that weighed him down. James, with his years of honed instincts, knew there was more to John than met the eye. He decided to delve deeper, to dig into the layers of this seemingly ordinary man, and so he began his interrogation. Each question was a step closer to the truth, each response a piece of the puzzle. But the more James probed, the more nervous John became. Finally, under the relentless pressure of James' interrogation, John's dam of silence broke. He admitted to his involvement in the theft of the mummy. But there was a twist. John was not the mastermind but a pawn, forced to partake in this grand scheme due to a threat that hit close to home. He was being blackmailed, his family's safety dangled in front of him like a carrot on a stick. John's confession was a revelation, a crucial lead in this complex case. He provided a glimpse into the inner workings of the heist, he had disabled the alarms, he had guided the thief through the labyrinthine corridors of the museum all under the watchful eyes of an unseen puppeteer. But who was this puppeteer? Who was pulling the strings? James knew he had to find out, he had a lead, a piece of the puzzle, but it was just one piece. The larger picture was still shrouded in mystery, the mastermind hidden in the shadows. John's confession was just the tip of the iceberg, this was far from over. James knew he was in the heart of a storm, the winds of intrigue swirling around him. But he was undeterred. He would navigate through the storm, unravel the mystery, and bring the guilty to justice. This was only the beginning. With John's help James was hot on the trail of the man behind the blackmail, Victor. It was a race against time, a pursuit through the city's labyrinthine streets. Victor, a notorious criminal, was no stranger to the shadows, but James, our astute detective, was not one to be easily deterred. His tenacity led him to a seedy bar, a known haunt of Victor's. There, amidst the haze and clinking glasses, he found his man. Victor was cornered, and under the steely gaze of Detective James he spilled the beans. A wealthy collector had hired him to steal the museum's prized possession. The mummy wasn't just missing, it was part of a grander, more sinister scheme. Victor spun a tale that seemed straight out of an adventure novel. The mummy was meant to be a trophy, a centerpiece in a private collection housed in a mansion on the city outskirts. The collector, a man known for his eccentric tastes and deep pockets, had orchestrated the whole heist. But the plot thickened. James and his team, armed with this new lead, wasted no time in raiding the mansion. They navigated through the opulence, the lavish halls echoing with the anticipation of discovery. 
In the collector's study, hidden within a secret compartment, they found the sarcophagus. It was a moment of triumph, of relief. The end to a puzzle that had begun in the quiet halls of the local museum. But when they opened the sarcophagus in the collector's study it was empty. The mummy had been stolen again. The victory was short-lived. The sarcophagus, once the final resting place of an ancient Egyptian, was now just an empty shell. The mummy, the heart of this twisted tale, had slipped through their fingers once more. The case it seemed, was far from closed. The trail, once hot, had turned ice cold. But our detective was not one to back down. The game was afoot, and James was ready for the next move. James wasn't about to give up, he delved deeper into the collector's background. And this is where our tale takes an unexpected twist. The deeper James dug, the more he uncovered a web of deceit and betrayal that led him to a shocking revelation. Our wealthy collector Mr. Smith was not the innocent victim he appeared to be. Behind the facade of a respectable collector lay a shadowy figure, one who had orchestrated the entire theft. Yes, you heard it right. Mr. Smith himself had hired Victor, the notorious criminal, to steal the mummy from his own museum. But why would he do that, you ask? Well, it appears that our collector had a plan. A plan to sell the mummy on the black market for a rather hefty sum. Now, with this newfound knowledge, James was ready for a confrontation. He tracked down Mr. Smith at his lavish mansion, ready to expose the truth. The collector, maintaining his innocent facade, denied any involvement in the theft. But James, with his keen eye for detail and unyielding determination, was not so easily fooled. James laid out his findings painting a clear picture of the deceitful game that Mr. Smith had been playing. And when he mentioned the black market, the collector's facade crumbled. Cornered and exposed, Mr. Smith had no choice but to confess. He admitted to hiring Victor to steal the mummy, to staging the theft to cover his tracks, all with the intent of selling the mummy on the black market. Mr. Smith hadn't counted on Detective James and his keen eye for detail. He hadn't expected that his intricate web of deceit would be untangled by a determined detective. But then again, when it comes to solving crimes, there's always a twist. And as we've seen in this case, nothing is ever as it seems. With the case solved and the mummy safely returned to the museum, James had time to reflect. Detective James, our sharp-eyed hero, sat in his office the weight of the case lifting from his shoulders. The room was filled with a sense of calm, a stark contrast to the whirlwind of events that had just transpired. He mulled over the intricacies of the investigation, the twists and turns that had led him to the truth. It had all begun with a frantic phone call from the museum's curator, a missing mummy, and a puzzle that seemed impossible to solve. The first unusual twist had been the inside job. John, the museum guard, had been blackmailed into aiding the robbery. The blackmailer, Victor, was a notorious criminal who had been hired to steal the mummy. The fact that the thief had known his way around the museum was a clear indication that this was more than a simple case of theft. The second twist had been the surprising discovery at the collector's mansion. The mummy hadn't just been stolen once, but twice. It was a crafty move, designed to throw investigators off the scent. But the final, and perhaps the most shocking twist of all, was the involvement of Mr. Smith the wealthy collector who had hired Victor to steal the mummy for his own personal gain. He had planned to sell the mummy on the black market, staging the theft to cover his tracks. It was a tale of deceit, betrayal and greed, but it was also a testament to the power of truth and justice. James had managed to solve the case not by relying on high-tech gadgets or flashy procedures, but by using his keen eye for detail and his unwavering determination. Reflecting on the case James was reminded that in the world of crime solving nothing is ever as it seems. The truth often hides in plain sight, obscured by layers of deceit and misdirection. But with patience, perseverance and a keen eye for detail, even the most complex mysteries can be unraveled. And that's how Detective James cracked the case of the missing mummy. Until next time keep your eyes open, mysteries are everywhere.